Yeah, this is nice. I can get used to this. Hello, drone racers. This is the Esheen Wizard X220S, and it's time for five cells. But first, we have to try some different props because the props that it comes with, I appreciate that it comes with a lot of them, but they are just not great. Look at the stress lines on that. That's just from flying. That's not from a crash. That is just from flying. All of them have that. And the one time I did hit the ground, it just shattered right on that line. So I don't think these are the right blades for the wizard. The ones I'm gonna try first are the Racer Star 5048s. These are gonna be a little less aggressive than the stock ones. They're a little more aggressive than the Dow Cyclones though. I think these will be great for smoothing out and increasing the efficiency on the 4S and hopefully they can handle the 5S. We're gonna find out, let's go. Okay, this is a 4S test of the Racer Star V2 5048s. I'm hoping these are a little better on the uh, than the stock blades and I also went in and changed the transmitter to wow that is pretty slow enough to need to turn up that rate or so I turned the transmitter to 200 milliwatts we'll see if we get better coverage now yeah that's much better with 25 it didn't cut it that's still a little low for 200 I don't know if I totally buy that but it's good enough I didn't turn it up to 600 yeah, it's definitely slow for turning, but that's partially my rates because I did not turn them up. I left them as stock. Several people mentioned it is a little heavy, but it'll get the job done. If I change the rates, it will perform just fine on 4S. How did these blades compare to the 5S? I don't know. I don't know. Or to the, not to the 5S, to the stock blades. That's the big question. Um, but what you really want to see here is the 5S. So let's get to that because that's all we really care about, right? Look at that 21.1 volts. That's crazy. 21.1 gigawatts. Oh, wait, no, never mind. All right, 5S, Racer Star 5048B2s. Yeah, it's a little loud. Andy RC said it was loud. I think that's a lot of that's gonna depend on the props you use. It, I will say it just feels right. Wow, yeah, that's zippy. <laughs> um, so it's it, if you're used to racing 5S, I think my camera angle got moved. I feel like I can't see. Yeah, that's fast. Goes down to 17 volts. I don't know, I'm not used to, I don't know what it's supposed to be. So my rates are still low. That's part of the problem. It does float pretty well though, and it falls out of it falls through the sky nicely, gracefully, without a problem at all. Wow, that's fast. Wow, that's fast. Oh, I lost signal. Uh-oh. Oh, that was bad. I, uh, I had a brown out there. Luckily, I was really, really high in the sky. I don't know if my voltage dropped too low or if I lost radio signal. I'm not sure which that was, but it's going to make me a little more conservative now. I've not done a full range test on this, although I did get 200 meters away last time. I think it was probably brownout. I'm at 18.8 volts. Uh, what am I supposed to be at? Four times five, 20 volts. That's, so I'm pretty low. Did I kill that already in a minute and 20 seconds? I might have. I might have just killed this battery already. Let's see, nine times, 15 volts is my dead, dead little bottom. 17 volts would be acceptable. So uh, yeah, this thing will eat batteries for breakfast. Flew through the tree without a problem though. and. I didn't seem to mind. Yeah, this is nice. I could get used to this. I have a 1500, this is a 1300 milliamp. I have a 1500 milliamp also. So uh, I'll have to see if the 1500 does make it too heavy. Probably not with 5S. It's huge. Nice, nice, all right, I better check come bring this in before I uh, before I destroy it but I like it we'll do one more with the 1500 how about that okay I was at 13% on that last battery after I was done so now this is a 1500 milliamp see if it does any better if I'm gonna fully test it I did fix the camera angle too I can confirm that that was wrong Wow I, I wish my my radar gun worked I've got a different one coming so this is at full camera angle, and I'm not sure it's still quite enough. 
because man does this thing want to go yeah yeah the problem with the last radar gun is I had to be too close to the ground and I cannot run these things at full speed that close to the ground I can fly close to the ground but not at full speed I'm not that brave yeah one minute in and my battery's low so this I don't know it this will run 5s and it will run them fast but it will terrorize your battery and that felt nice that was a really nice float I do like this drone a lot um, it destroys batteries that's for sure it's a battery killer probably because of the weight and I'm losing DVR already there's a minute and 20 in this is not what I would call a full two-minute flyer but man is it fast man is that fast on 5s oh no too low okay hopefully my neighbors don't mind hopefully I don't care about the golfer so much oh man I like it I like it a lot it's not for long flights it is not for long sustained flights at 5s for sure but that's nice it just floats nice it is way better on 5 it's good on 4s don't get me wrong but man it it's awesome on 5s holy cow all right so I'm dipping the battery down low There, we're dipping below my minimum. So, you know what? Could you do a two-minute race in this? Maybe, probably. With a 1500, it definitely does better with the 1500. Just because it can handle the surge on amps. This is a 70C China Hobby Line battery. Um, so it does good. Is this a lot? Oh, yeah, it is. So my question was, is this a lot faster than my 4S racer, lighter weight racers? Whoa, I'm, this battery's dead. Oops. Oops. <laughs> I stopped paying attention. That was a problem. I'm going to go kill that real fast. There we have it. 5S on the Ishin Wizard X220S. It's a monster. It's a battery killer. I might have actually killed that battery. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it recovers once it cools. Hopefully it's okay. I think it would do better with some more efficient props. Some 5042s would probably be good. I really like the Racer Star 5042s. These did good, especially with the 4S. But I think you need something even a little less. I've got some King Kong 5040s I'll probably try, but that doesn't seem like it's quite enough. But it had gobs of power on 4S and it recovered and the motors were cool and I was very impressed. So yeah, this is not a lightweight racing quad at all. But it is very versatile, and especially as 5S becomes more common, becomes the standard. When I got started, 4S was crazy. Only crazy people did that. Now, 4S is standard. 5S is for crazy people. But since this supports it, uh, that's what everybody's going to start going to. Because this is going to be the most popular quad for the rest of the year. And I don't think you can go wrong with it. The one thing that drives me crazy about it is right there. Right there. See that? No, you don't see that because the VTX is under this strap. That is a terrible design. I think it was probably supposed to line up here and somebody screwed up. Forget that complaint. I just figured it out and we're going to make this happen. And it's going to be another video because that's worthy video worthy all by itself right there. So stay tuned for that one. In conclusion, yes, this might be the perfect quad now that I just figured that out. It's a little heavy. Uh, I don't know if we can take these sides off to reduce the weight. Probably not. Nope, not really. Not the front one, at least. Part of what's going to make this one of the best quads is the support of the community. Uh, there's some discussion on whether you should build or buy. I was always strongly in the build category until things like this started showing up and are this good. It's clean. It's really nice. And the argument that you can't fix it if you didn't build it, I don't think is valid with this because as soon as you have a problem, you go on the 2000 member Facebook group and somebody has had the problem or there's going to be a million and a half YouTube videos on this diagnosing and fixing every single thing. Like how do you change the transmitter, which I'm going to make a new video of now that I just finally figured it out. So if you found this useful, give us a like and comment down below with the best 5S battery you have found. 1300, 1500, somewhere in that range. Uh, I'm using the Ch China Hobby line. I get these from the US because I can get them, but they didn't perform excellently on this. So I'm wondering if there are better options or maybe I do need to hire C because these were only the 70C I cheaped out. And I think they have 100C also. And until next time, remember, 5S is the new 4S.